Mike Tyson loses his baby girl, and T.I. loses his freedom. All these stories and more in this week's Hip Hollywood Weekly Wrap. On the heels of the release of his self-titled documentary Tyson, Mike Tyson is suffering yet another blow to his already troubled life. Tuesday morning, the boxing champ lost his four-year-old daughter Exodus to a freak accident. The child was found hanging by a cord on a treadmill in Mike's Arizona home. Upon hearing the news, Tyson, who was out promoting his critically acclaimed documentary, immediately flew home and rushed to the hospital to be with Exodus, who at the time was in critical condition on life support. Shortly after her father's arrival, young Exodus passed away. Our thoughts go out to Mike and his family. Well, the day we've been waiting for has arrived. Yup, T.I. has finally checked himself into federal prison. I know what you're thinking, it's about time. I mean, we can't remember the last time there has been so much hoopla about someone going to jail. The Atlanta-based rapper began serving his 366-day sentence at a minimum security prison in Arkansas on Tuesday. Now, if you become a fan of T.I.'s longtime love, Tiny, you're in luck, because she and Lil Wayne's ex-wife, Toya, will be starring in their own reality show on BET. As for T.I., see you in about a year. Even in the midst of his legal issues, Chris Brown is smiling in the face of adversity. First, he was spotted at a Cleveland Cavaliers game with fellow crooner Usher. Then he was playing basketball with Shaq and Bow Wow. Then he had this message for his adoring fans and haters. I just want to say what up, because I ain't been out there in a minute, but new album gonna be coming soon. We working on it right now. It's crazy. It's called Graffiti. Got everything on it. You know what I'm saying? So y'all be y'all be ready for that. I'm about to drop a single this summer for y'all, so we ain't going nowhere. Everybody, uh, everybody that's haters, they just been haters. All my real fans, I love y'all. I ain't a monster. Chris is cool, but what about Rihanna? Well, looks like Riri's doing just fine. She's a star of Kanye West's latest video, Paranoid. Check this out. Wrong things, you worry about the wrong things, the wrong things, you worry about the wrong things, the wrong things. Tell me right now, you really wanna spend your whole life alone. A little time out, might do you good, might do what's good for, we be done for good. Cause I can make it good, I can make it hood, I can make it come, I can make it go. Now, I'm pretty sure this film will be nominated for next year's movie awards. I'm talking about Dance Flick. We caught up with the star of the film who talked to us about the project. It is basically making fun of every movie that had to do with dancing in it, you know, just like, it's, it's whatever you think, yeah. it's more on the lines of a uh, Save the Last Dance, You Got Served, so it's pretty much following that storyline. I'm playing but like, funny. but it's, yeah, <laughs> funny on purpose. On purpose, right. Yeah. Not because the acting is horrible. like, damn, that's horrible acting, and why is it raining? <laughs> <laughs> While he's dancing in a white beard. With his chest out, who knows? You guys have got to check out the film, it is hilarious. Now moving right along to my girl Winter Mitchell from OK Magazine with Winter's Weekly Breeze. Hey Yaz, this week we're talking about curvy women in Hollywood, which is perfect because it coincides with OK's body and soul issue. And we were lucky enough to talk to three fabulous women about how they feel in their skin. First up, we talked to the one and only Queen Latifah. And she told OK, I've got to be me and let others be them. And I think there's room for all of us because America looks like all of us. Next up, we talked to American Idol, Jordan Sparks, and she told OK, I'm all up for working out and being healthy and eating right, but I don't have to be a size four and I'll never be a size four. You go, girl. Finally, we got a chance to talk to chart topper Estelle, and she told OK, I'm naturally skinny. I've actually tried my whole life to put on weight and I'm just starting to get there this year. She also says she loves putting on weight because she loves getting more boobs and more butt. I heard that. For more on these fabulous women, make sure you check out this week's issue of OK Magazine. And if you happen to be in Los Angeles this Saturday, head out to Santa Monica Beach, where OK is hosting our Body and Soul event. More details, okmagazine.com. Back to you, Yaz. Thanks, Winter. Finally, it appears that Diddy's Twitterverse is crashing in on him. Yes, some genius out there decided to start an unfollow Diddy movement on Twitter and it's catching on like wildfire. 
As for the man himself, well, this movement surfaced as he hit the 1 million follower mark on Twitter, and he of course addressed those anti-Diddy followers, saying, Life is short. Use your time wisely. Only a fool wastes time on negativity. While you're trying to tear me down, I'm already on to my next dream. Sucks for Diddy, but make sure you follow us on Twitter. I'm Yasmin, and that's a wrap.